from the gun. Here's Cousins. And that will be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Now that turnover might just about do it. Here, fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart, a couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 nothing now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. 